Hey guys, it's Chris from Prepare My 101, SHOT Show 2014. I'm so good at this. Here with the godfather of knives, Ethan Becker. Now, I told all the viewers I was going to do this, and they didn't believe me. So, I brought somebody very, very special for you to meet. Famous BK7 yes, it is. on YouTube. All right. Obviously, you haven't been using it. I sharpen it a lot, and I polish it. And I baby it. I actually, took the edge off that. Thank God. I think Christ got a hold of that. So she finally got the meter maker. That was the highlight. All right. It's like, how am I gonna? Yeah, I tweaked the the Tidex a little bit, so there's no way that thing's coming out. Yeah. No new K bars this year, unfortunately. I think you love the seven. I know. Yeah. I, I, I am fond of Jessica. So nothing new this year, though. No, not really. I mean, we've got uh, uh, the bar and uh, D2. Yes, I, I do have one of these. I have done videos on it. These are nice. And at some point, you are going to. And that's part six. At some point, you're going to want to transfer at least some of your effects. Yes, I need another one. This is probably going to be the next one I get. BK16. Get another one. I did have one earlier. And that guy can be something that that always on you. It'll do 99% of what you need to And it, you don't even know it's there. Just remember, the reason Becker's rules because the handles. Too many people the don't. The handles fit my hands really well. Too many people don't care about handles. It's like, they, are the, they are the foundation of the wine. I've, I've actually come up with a, the, my, I call it the squeeze test. If I can take a knife and squeeze it, it doesn't hurt. Good. Handles good. That makes sense. Right. Well, thank you for fondling Jessica. You're the only one that's allowed to fondle Jessica. <laughs> Me. Hey, it's Chris from Prepare Mind 101. Look at some of the new uh, 2014 stuff with K Bar. All right, what do we got here? This is the new K Bar Zombro. Fits into the Zombie line of products. So it's like a big brother with a yeah. zombie hand. You got it, exactly. We just put on the zombie handles. It's US made. US, good. I don't know. Now, did the original big brother, that was just leather stack handles, right? We have both, actually. This looks familiar, but I forget what it's called. This is a new extension to the Johnson Adventure line. Ooh. This one's called the Warren Stalker. It goes along with the Game Stalker that we came out with last Warren year. Warren Stalker. Warren Cliff Blade. And it's 440 stainless steel. The same textured handles that the other knife has, the same sheath. Rubber bad. Rubber. The handle's really nice. <laughs> editing this in because I just reviewed my video and you couldn't see this very well. So we're getting a better look. That is freaking wicked. And then here's the other one that came out this past year.
<laughs> Frangatang? Frangatang. That is cool. Oh, that's I decided right. to whip out the big grinds on that one. 10, 1095? 1095. 1095, 1095 CB. 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 So what, what are these going to run about street price? Uh, well, the street price would be less than 100. Less than 100. Less than 100. Well, for 1095 CV of this size, less than 100, it's still pretty darn good price. All right. And then we signed on a new designer this year. I couldn't be here today, but Mike Snowdy. Snowdy? Snowdy? Yeah. So we're doing three production knives of his box. We've got the, that's the big boss. And it's going to be come mounted with some blue handles. So there's a small version over there of the standard size Is it snotty box. or snowdy? Snowdy. Snowdy. <laughs> I don't much want, debated. I don't want to get him all upset at me. I want to say his name right. <laughs> so they'll all come with that blue handle mounted on. They come with an extra set of purple handle. And then we also have somewhere amidst the mess here a Schmuckatelli bead with the Snowdy logo on it. That guy you want to compress right there. And this is a 3D prototype, so it's a little bit tight. That's called the Snake Charmer. Snake Charmer? Kind of a bird and trout type of knife. And these are all S35 beads. That's nice. Like it. Uh, it's got good retention. It's just different. Wide, yeah, just needs widened up a little bit right here, and then you won't have that issue once it spreads apart a little bit extra. Nice. And these are uh, chisel ground. That one is chisel ground. Yeah, but the others are. Not. You said it came with comes with purple and. Uh, purple and blue, and then you've got the extra uh, schmuckatelli bead, which I hate to say. I can't see on the table here. Everything's a bit disarranged. That's that. Uh, no, but I've been invited to these folders and zombie nuts. I saw someone posted uh, pretty much the outdoor thing. This morning I saw the, the new uh, TDI. Oh, yeah, let me grab that for you. I would definitely want to see that. Ah, oh, there they are. He's got them. Is that cool stuff in here? Yeah, these are actually a TDI Hinderer collaboration. Hinderer, the magic yeah. H word. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, that guy's taking over the planet. <laughs> So we've got two versions. That one that you have is called the Hindrance, and this one is called the Hellfire. And they both come with a lock sheath, which is new for us. We've never done a lock mechanism on our sheath. Yeah, well, that is cool. The Hinderer and the Hellfire. I like that. I like that a lot. I think it's going to do well. It's actually had really good reception even this early on in the show, so that's good news. Well, I mean, anything with his name. That's, it's the first thing that I saw come out <laughs> yes. on, from shot was, oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. That was from a guy I know that's actually a TDI trainer ah, that lives go. in my city. That is definitely cool. Uh, so it's got both logos. It has Rick's Mustang on the back and it's got TDI's Evo on the front. Nobody's going to buy the other ones, too. <laughs> Hopefully they already have all the other ones. Just, just tap. <laughs> have a picture of Rick Hinder holding the old stuff. Yeah. Maybe that'll... <laughs> that might do it, huh? So, that is awesome. A lot of stuff to look forward to here in 2014 from K-Bar. Uh, I know I haven't been looking at the camera much because I'm like, oh, these guys are so cool. <laughs> Especially these. I mean, check that out. 
thank you very much. Thank you. Um, any time frame, like quarter wise? About March, we'll be ready for everything. My birthday. Just in time. Uh, hint, hint, hint. So. All right, well, thanks for watching. We'll be back with some more uh, stuff from uh, SHOT Show 2014. Hey guys, my name is Jesse Jarvis. I'm a custom tactical knife maker. And uh, today we got some of my designs on the table with the K-Bar booth. I'm a new designer here, and you'll probably see some of my designs coming from K-Bar in early 2015. So uh, here we have a tactical fixed blade, V-ground, hollow grind. It's got a deep swedge, which lightens up the blade, gives it a nice balance. Uh, really, really quick knife. What was that handle material you just told us? This handle material is brake rotor from an F-16 fighter jet. It's a uh, really lightweight, high impact resistant material, great material. Probably won't see it on the K-Bar knives, but uh, on the custom knives, it's, uh, it's a favorable, favorable material. Yeah, that's right, my, my card is for beginners. Yep, <laughs> Th this one here is my card. Uh, this is a little okay, all take around that outdoor back. knife. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, it's a it's a good outdoor knife. You know, it's made for all around general general use, skinning, hunting, fishing. You know that sort of thing. It's got a nice feel to it. Nice and lightweight. It's your big folder. Yep. This here is a model 100. It's the largest folder I make. It's got a 4.2 inch blade. Uh, it features a CPM 154 stainless blade, blasted G10 scales, 6AL4V titanium liners, and a carbon fiber backspacer with a lanyard attachment point built in. Uh, it's a liner lock, obviously. Uh, you probably won't see the folders. Uh, you're, we're, we're more focused on the fixed blades, but we just wanted to get this out there, show people what I do. Okay, so we're not going to be seeing any of this stuff from K-Bar until probably next year, so where can people find your work now? Uh, if you want to check out my work, my name is Jesse Jarris, and you can just check out Jarris Knives, Google it, and you'll find my website. You can contact me through my contact form. Uh, my phone number will be on there. I have a gallery. Uh, there's, there's lots of things to look at, videos, all that stuff, and lots of information, so please feel free to check that out anytime, and uh, give me a holler if you need anything. Cool, thank you. Yeah, thank you, appreciate it.